Hi everyone and welcome to a lower back class. This is a 30 minute class which will be followed on my channel by another 30 minute class in case you want to go for a whole hour. This first half an hour will be easier, more focused on rebalancing the core muscles which impact the back, focusing on lengthening the lower back and bringing a lot of blood into the areas that can get injured and quite sensitive for a lot of people. So when you're ready, grab your mat and let's begin. So we'll be starting on our hands and knees into cat pose, hands underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. Take a big breath in, lift the back up, open the spine, keep the breath in, keep the chin down, press the ground away, and then exhale, reverse, look up, arch the back, drop the belly, look to the ceiling, keep your eyes on one point, keep your breath out, and reverse, big breath in, Open. And exhale. Contract. Contract the spine, contract the back. Feel the whole spine. And one more like this. Big breath in, open up. And exhale, squeeze, close, contract. Okay, come back to the middle. Okay, you bring the knees together. And gently we're gonna lengthen the waist by keeping the shoulders still and dropping the hips gently to the right as we exhale. Inhale up, try not to move the shoulders as you drop the hips. Doesn't matter how low your hips go, just keep the shoulders still. Come back up, again, go to the right. Inhale up and go to the left. Inhale, back up. Okay, we're gonna go onto our back. Lie down on your mat, legs bent, arms out to the sides. So your hands are in line with your shoulders. The chin is pressing down, the feet close to your bum, feet flat on the ground. So squeeze the knees together so your core is engaged. Take a breath in and then slowly take the knees to the right as you exhale. Keeping the shoulders down keeping your upper body relaxed and keeping the knees together. Come back up, breathe in. Go to the left, exhale. Inhale, back to the middle. And go to the right again, exhale. Inhale, back. Go to the left, exhale. Inhale back and one more on each side. Exhale to the right. Maybe the knees are going a little bit closer to the ground. Come back up and exhale to the left. And come back. Okay, and the next one. Lift the feet off the mat, knees together. Ankles squeezing together. So you got a right angle at the knees. Big breath in here, keep your chin down. Exhale, slowly take the knees to the right. Inhale, back up and go to the left. Inhale, back up, go to the right again. And back. Go to the left and back and one more on each side. 
Go to the right, keep the knees together, shoulders stay glued to the floor, come back and go to the left. Use the core to bring the knees back up. Okay, and then the third version is bringing the knees closer to the chest, but keep the arms out. So bring the knees as close to the chest as you can. And then exhale, take the knees over to the right. As you go over to the right, trying to pull the knees up into your armpit. And then come back to the middle, breathe in. Go to the left, exhale, and then pull the knees up into the armpit. Inhale back. Again, go to the right. Pull the knees up. Come back to the middle. Go to the left. Pull the knees up into your armpit, as close to the armpit as you can just to get the core to engage even more. One more on each side. Go to the right, pull the knees up into the armpit. Back to the middle, go to the left. Pull the knees up. And back to the middle. Awesome. Wrap your arms around the knees and just give the knees a big squeeze. And that's just going to open up your lower back. Breathe into your belly. Nice and slow. Breathe deeply. Notice if you're holding tension in the shoulders. Relax your shoulders. Relax your neck. So this last exercise with three different leg positions. We're just working different part of the lower back, okay? The higher we bring the knees into the chest, the lower we focus in the spine. Okay, we're just gonna keep hold of our right knee here and extend the left leg and squeeze the knee into your chest and keep the knee nice and close to your chest. Take a breath in here. And as you exhale, you're gonna push the knee away from you and trying to get your back off the ground, but don't let the knee come too far off your chest. So you're pulling with your arms and you're pushing with your leg. Keep the breath out, keep pushing, keep pulling, keep pushing, keep pulling. And then back down, breathe in. And exhale, push hard, push and pull, push and pull, push and pull, push and pull, push and pull. And down, and last one, exhale, push and pull. Go, 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 and down, and slowly release the right leg. Give it a second. Feel your right hip, feel your right lower back, feel your right core. Feel the warmth. This is good, this is what we want. Let's do the other side. So hugging the left knee into the chest, big squeeze, big breath in, and then exhale, push and pull, push and pull. Try not to let the knee get away too much. The goal is not to get up, the goal is to get the core, the lower back and the hip to work with this contraction. Okay, come down, breathe in. And exhale, push and pull, push and pull, push and pull, push and pull. And lower down, breathe in. Last one. Exhale, push. Awesome. Lie down. Straight legs. Relax. Palms up. Okay, so one of the great things you can do if you have a bad back is to actually squeeze it gently. Not just to try to stretch it, even if it's just tension. 
squeezing it allows the body to bring a lot of blood in that area and then release the tension flush out the toxins so what we do is we bring the elbows next to the ribs make fist point the fist up to the ceiling have your feet hip width pull the toes back hard have your legs straight chin down into your chest and then push the elbows into the ground and exhale lift the hips off the mat squeeze your whole back come back down breathe in and again exhale lift squeeze 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 keep the legs straight keep pulling the toes back and back down okay second version bring the hands behind the head lace the fingers elbows wide keep the feet where they are hip width keep pulling the toes back keep your upper body relaxed take a big breath in and then exhale lift the hips up same as before except this is a little bit more challenging because you can't use your elbows come back down breathe in and try again exhale lift and you're gonna stay up here big breath in and exhale roll the hips to the right as if you had a tennis ball and then you hear bum and you're trying to roll over it without touching it come back to the middle breathe in and roll to the left roll the hips and maybe the left hip can touch the mat come back to the middle and let's do one more on each side exhale to the right and back and to the left roll and keep lifting as you roll and then back and down and stay there with your arms relax the legs feel your lower back so this is engaging the whole back body even the back of the legs back of the thighs the glutes the calves even the neck but it's a very safe exercise because you're not really arching the back you're barely arching the back barely arching the spine and you're actually working those muscles that hold your spine up so in this last exercise if you found that one side was a little bit tighter if you found that rolling to one side was more difficult then i recommend pausing the video and then doing two or three more reps just on that tight side on that hard difficult side and keep that in mind because it might be that one of your muscles in the back one side is stronger or one side is a bit more stiff so this is a good exercise to rebalance it and there's another good one where we bend the legs so we go into bridge pose variation we take the arms out to the sides so your hands are in line with your shoulders and the feet are hip width close to your bum and lift the hips up nice and high and then keeping the hips up take a breath in here and same thing roll the hips to the right as you exhale roll and keep lifting as you roll and then back to the middle breathe in and roll to the left exhale lift and roll lift and roll and back and one more on each side except if you found one side was harder go twice on the hard side otherwise go to the right exhale and back and go to the left go back to the hard side and as you go over keep the breath out keep lifting go a little bit higher a little bit further relax into the pose and back and slowly down keep the legs like this 
Just relax, arms down by your sides. Keep the legs bent. Okay, straighten your left leg and come and hug the right knee into the chest. And then you're gonna grab the big toe on your right foot and try to straighten the leg slowly. Left hand is gonna be on the left thigh. And here I want you guys to try and focus on your left leg. Press the left leg down. Doesn't matter how straight the right leg is, doesn't matter how open the right hip is we're just focusing on the bottom leg and pressing it down and as you do that you'll see that the more you focus on your left leg the more you press it down the more your right leg is gonna slowly release and let go and relax and open keep your chin down keep your shoulders down and relaxed And then let it go. Slowly bring the leg back down. Give it a second. Let's try the other side. Keep in mind how difficult or how easy that first side was just to compare, just to see if there's an imbalance there. So grab the big toe, try to straighten the leg. And then bring the hand on the right leg, press the right leg down. Keep your chin down, shoulders down. Again, if you see a massive difference left and right, then this is a good pose to practice more on the difficult side. Okay, let it go. Relax the arms. So we're just gonna move on. But if you did find a more difficult side, then I suggest you pause the video and try on the difficult side again. Okay, so the next one, we're gonna engage the core a little bit and we'll work the core one side at a time because one of the main issues we get when we have lower back imbalance is an equal imbalance in the core. So bring the hands behind the head and then try to pull your right elbow to your left knee and hold here and breathe into your belly. Keep pulling yourself up. Keep trying to get the back off the ground. Two more breaths. And relax down. And try and bring the left elbow to the right knee. Pull yourself up. Exhale. And breathe. Stay calm. Breathe into the belly, belly goes up as you breathe in. And belly goes down as you breathe out. Okay, slowly down. And we're gonna, we're gonna repeat. We're going to repeat it once again on each side, except if you found one side way more difficult. Okay. And by that, I mean, you can't get off the ground as easily. You can't bring your knee nearly as close 
to the elbow as the other side. All of this, this is considered, this is the signs of an imbalance and most likely it comes from a weakness in the core on one side. So let's try it. Either go to your heart side or right elbow to left knee and hold. And slowly down. And hard side again, or left elbow, right knee. Pull yourself up and hold. And down. And relax here. Palms up. Okay, hug the knees and the chest. Big squeeze to open the low back again. This is really good. If you've got really so low back, just get on the ground, squeeze your knees few breath and then you can let go of the legs when you do that and let the blood return into the low back but for now we keep hold of the knees and we roll up a few times back and forth roll on your back roll roll and last one roll up okay so left leg straight, bring the right foot in. When we do get um, a little bit of a sensitive lower back, it's always a good idea to work one side at a time or to have one leg bent when we go into forward stretch or when we go into back bends, which we'll see right after. So press forward, exhale. Inhale back, press forward, exhale. Inhale back, and last one, go forward. And see how deep you can go on that side. Come back, try the other side. See how deep we can go on that side, go forward, exhale. And back, go forward, exhale. And back, and last one. Go forward, exhale. And back. Okay, so if you did find an imbalance, go to your hard side. So maybe it's harder because you feel tighter on the back leg because the foot here doesn't want to come as high or the knee is a little bit higher or the lower back feels a bit stiffer. Okay, there can be multiple reasons. So find a hard side and if you don't have a hard side, don't worry. I'll tell you when to switch, okay, halfway through. So this one we hold. If we can, we grab the foot. Otherwise, go for the calf or the ankle. But if you can, grab the foot. Take a breath in, straighten the back, and then exhale, pull yourself down. Inhale slowly and come out a little bit, not too much. And exhale, pull yourself down more. And three more like this. Inhale slowly, come out. Exhale, pull yourself down. Inhale out, exhale down. Last one, exhaling down. Exhale, 
Okay, so if you did have a hard side, stay on that hard side. If you didn't, you can switch side now. Reach for the toes, reach for the leg, anything you can grab. And let's go for five, nice and slow. Go forward and down. Inhale up. Forward and down. Inhale up. Trying to lengthen the spine. Don't come out of it too much as you breathe in. And pull the elbows down as you breathe out. And two more. Exhaling down. Inhaling back. Last one. Exhale down. And inhale back. Beautiful. Okay, wide legs. Bring the hands behind the head. Elbows wide. Pull the toes back. Go to the right. Exhale. And back and see if there's a harder side. Go to the left. Inhale back. So either go to the hard side or go to the right and hold and breathe. Trying to bring the elbow on the inside of the leg. Once you can get the elbow on the inside, use it to twist your body and look up more to the ceiling. Open that top elbow. And if you didn't have a hard side, come back up and go to the other side. Otherwise, stay on your difficult side and breathe here. Keep pressing the legs down, the leg you're moving away from. Press it down, don't let it lift. Okay, come back. Awesome, so we've got two more exercises. Start with the right foot in, open the hips, grab the big toe, take the right arm up, big breath in as you lengthen the arm up, and then slowly take the arm over and we hold keep lengthening the top arm and what you're trying to do is to look up under your arm and have the top armpit face the ceiling not the floor because that makes you just avoid the whole exercise the point of this exercise of this asana is to open the sides, the hip, the waist, the ribs. You're stretching the sides all the way to the little finger. Two more breaths. And come back slowly and try the other side. Open the hips. Grab the big toe, take the arm up, lengthen it up with the breath in, and exhale, take it over. Make sure you're not tensing your shoulders, so push your shoulder blades down your back. Keep lengthening that top arm. Keep reaching over, keep looking under your arm and trying to get that armpit to face the ceiling. And then slowly back. Beautiful. Okay, and we finish with a little core exercise with the legs bent with the feet together, the knees together. Take the arms forward, grab the mat with your big toes, and then slowly come back just halfway. Inhale, hold, keep your chest open. And then exhale, come up. Inhale back. 
Don't let the feet lift. Keep the knees together. Exhale, come up. All right, so that's two. Let's go for eight more. Inhale back. Exhale up. That's three. Back. If you can go all the way down without lifting the feet, come back up. Go all the way down. Exhale. And you'll see that the more you do this exercise, the more you create that connection with your core. To do that though, you have to do it properly. So keep pushing the big toes down, keep lengthening the arm forward. And that's seven, three more. And eight. And nine, last one. And 10, beautiful. You can lie down on your back and have a rest after this exercise. If you want to do the second part, you can go straight away into the second half of this class. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoy this low back class. If you are stopping here today, I hope you enjoy the rest and I hope you have a beautiful day ahead of you. See you soon. Thank you.